Hey Mechatronic students, in this video we're going to be talking about the metal lathe and we're going to be sharing or demonstrating how we can swap out the chuck. So the first thing that we're going to do is to unplug the machine. All right, so there's no chance of it starting up when we're um, messing around. So what we've got in here right now is a three jaw chuck, great for general purpose work. But every once in a while, you may want to swap out the chuck for something different, uh, a four-jaw chuck. So this has some other uh, uses. You can do things, uh, offset turning, things that you can't do on a three-jaw chuck. So we'll go ahead and change out from the three-jaw to the four-jaw. So our first step is going to be to find a block of wood or something that we can place underneath the chuck itself. There's a tendency for the chuck, uh, it can fall and it can damage the, uh, the ways. So I want to get a piece of material in there that's going to help absorb that shock if it does fall and we're not going to uh, dent anything up. So let's take a look at what's holding this in place. All right. So first of all, I'm going to put it in a little bit of a higher gear so it's easy for me to rotate it. When it's in a low gear, I really have to work to get it to rotate. So, um, inside there are a couple of cams that are holding this in place. And we've got to kind of zoom in and, and really see what's happening with these pieces. Okay, so <coughs> there are three locks that hold this in place. And I'm going to zoom in, see if we can't get a really nice look at one of these locks and the little tick marks that are on there. There we go. I'm really, really liking that. So what I'm talking about with tick marks on the outer metal housing, there's a tick mark there. And then it's a little bit more subtle, but right here is another tick mark. So if we install this guy and move, this might take a little bit of force. Holy smokes. Okay. I'm going to move that to its upward position so that the two lines are aligned with one another, right? You can see this line on the little nut that I turned is lined up with that other. And there are three of these things that are holding it in position. So we do that to all three of them. Might take a little bit of uh, persuasion. All right, and it's such a subtle thing, but that little mark is lined up with that mark. And I've got one more to go to get these marks lined up. Okay, so now with all three of those marks aligned, we can go in there and begin to try to get the chuck uh, removed. That's all that's holding it on. So to do this, I'm going to have one hand firmly gripping on the chuck itself. I'm going to zoom out so you guys get a little better perspective here. And then just a little tap usually removes it. Um, they get nice and stuck on here, so this is fun. All right. Pretty sure I've got everything loose that needs to get loose. It's all in the right spot. She's just kind of stuck on there. So this chuck has been on here for quite a while, so I'm going to have to get a little bit better um, mallet to get some more force to help me remove it. So sit tight. Okay, so we've got a little bit bigger uh, mallet now. And again, I'm trying to get back here. There, it popped off. All right, just took a little bit of persuasion there. Okay, there we go. So you can see the three um, pins. We've got uh, some cutouts in there. That's what's holding the chuck in place. And again, it was just kind of <laughs> been on here for a while. So they're kind of heavy. So I've got that three jaw chuck has been removed. And here comes the four jaw chuck in its place. And it's never a bad idea, I guess, before I slide that on for me to take a peek at the rest of this and perhaps grab a paper towel, just kind of clean up any burrs or anything that might be on there. All right, 
So we've got a nice clean mounting surface. And we're gonna install this one about the same way. Again, it's nice to have that stock there to help us. And she slides on. And I've got one hand holding it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up one of these um, locks. Oh, these ones are spinning the other direction. That's interesting. They don't want to spin. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten up all of those locks. And I just wonder, huh, that is that is kind of curious. Um, the other chuck, you we uh, ended up turning them uh, to tighten it. This one, I'm going the opposite direction. So I'm actually going to take another closer look at what's going on here. Doesn't seem quite right. All right, so I figured out what the problem was with this chuck. Um, let's see if I can get it explained well. Um, <coughs> these little pins that hold the chuck into place, they screw in and out. And uh, I have two four jaw chucks in the lab and evidently I've never had this one on this lathe. So here's what happened is uh, these pins were not at the right depth to be mounted on the lathe. So to adjust it, I had to go through and insert these pins, kind of measure their distance, uh, used a caliper to compare it to the other chuck. And then we just get these close to what that caliper measures and then install the little screw that uh, locks them into position. So we install the screw And now, the, with all of these adjusted to the correct depth, I think we'll have a lot easier time getting this in. So, a little discouraging that it happened while I was shooting the video, but also it was kind of a blessing because now you got to see what happens. Or, you know, if you have a new chuck that doesn't fit right, you have to adjust these pins. There we go. You know what to do now. So, uh, with any luck, this will now slide into position and the cam locks will engage properly. Let's see. I'm trying to do this and I can't see anything. Try not to get in the way of the camera. There it is. So those are in place and then let's see if these guys... Oh, there we go. It engaged. It engaged and it engaged. So <coughs> with this done, we would just go ahead and tighten these as best we can, really putting a lot of snort on them. That's a technical term. Really trying to lock those cams into position. All right. And I'm just go around and give each of them a little more if they'll take it. And then upon closer investigation, I discovered that the uh, chuck has a little bit of a taper that's engaging here. And that's one of the reasons why it um, was so difficult to remove. I had to get a bigger mallet to get it to loosen. So um, there we go. We've swapped out the chuck and now we have a four jaw chuck. And that's the basics here of how to switch chucks plus a little insight into what happens when they don't fit. So there we go. Until next time, guys.